Hello, what's up guys? So guy promise you once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are talking about questions that are asked by the immigration and customs officials at the airport when you are trying to get into the United States. So if you're ready for this video, stay tuned. Welcome back guys once again. If today is the first time you are seeing me and you like content like this, you should definitely consider subscribing to my channel and joining the community. So if you're watching this video, then you are most likely have gotten your US visa and you are preparing to enter the United States. Depending on the country where you come from, the US embassy gives one year, two years, five years or ten years to some countries. But it doesn't mean upon arrival at the airport or upon entry, you will be spending a year, five years or ten years in the country, especially if you are going with a B1, B2 visa. The immigration and customs officers at the airport will determine how long you'll be staying in the United States. And in some cases, they can decide whether or not you will be granted entrance to the country, even though you have your visa. So yes, in some cases, upon arrival at the United States, at the airport, you can be refused entry into the country, even though you have your visa. Here are some of the questions that are being asked by the immigration and customs office at the airport. Number one is the purpose of travel. The purpose of travel is usually a simple question that you should know why you are entering or why you are going to the United States. This purpose of travel shouldn't be different from the purpose of travel you used or you said when you were doing your visa interview. Because for instance, if you said you were going for a conference and at the airport, they ask you why you are coming to the United States and you are saying you are coming for tourism. Especially if it's the first time you are entering the country, then your purpose of travel should be the same as the purpose of travel you said during your visa interview. The next question that you are most likely to be asked is the duration of your stay. So depending on the purpose of travel, you tell the officer how long you intend to stay in the United States. If you are going for a conference that's like for three days, it's advisable to say a week or two because that would make sense rather than saying you intend to stay in the country for four months even though you are attending a conference that is for three days one thing you should know is the answer to this question is not what the officer puts on the passport for instance if you are going for a conference that's for three days and you you told the officer you intend to stay in the country for one week he doesn't write one week on the passport because you said one week usually the duration is like months they give you one month two months and i think at most six months that's how long you can stay in a country when you are holding b1 b2 visa at a go so in some cases you are being asked to show your returning tickets so make sure you have these documents with you so that you can easily they can be readily available if they are being asked for but if you do not have your return tickets you can tell the officer you are not 100 percent sure on the particular day you want to go but it's highly recommended that you have your return ticket so that it will show that yes you are willing to leave the country after the number of days you said you'll be in the country. Other question that they'll be asking is your accommodation. Where do you intend to stay in the United States whilst you are here? Are you going to be in a hotel? Are you going to be in a family's apartment? Make sure you have the address so they can give to them. This question is usually asked to so make sure you have this information at hand. This particular question, your travel history in the United States, they can see everything in the system, but never delay, they still ask. So if you've been to the United States before and they ask, yes, you've been to the United States, how long you stayed, the history about that trip can be asked. So there's no need for you to lie about this particular question. If you've also had a problem, probably you were deported or something happened, you should tell them you shouldn't lie because they can see everything in the system. Other supporting document, at the Immigration and Customs Office, the questions really changes depending on the individual. Some go and they don't ask questions, some go and they are being interrogated from head to toe. In some cases, they even go for secondary inspection where they are taken to separate rooms for extra scrutiny. So make sure you have all the necessary documents, especially the ones you use for your visa application with you at hand or readily available. In case they ask for other documents or they keep or in case they ask for questions like to show your financial status or to show your socioeconomic ties, whether you're a student married or you are working back home. So in case they ask any question like that, make sure you have all these documents available so that you can prove to them that yes, what you said can be supported by with a document. One, one last thing I have to say is that the immigration and customs questions are not intense as 
the questions that are asked during the interview so if you've been able to pass the interview and you already have your visa answering the questions at the immigration shouldn't be any problem for you especially if you have the necessary document to back them so if you've come to the end of this video i hope you find this video very educative and informative if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel like this video and put a nice comment in the comment section like always the name is promzy and i'm signing out peace